volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just had another giant solar eruption, coronal mass ejection, shoot out of the sun, and amazingly light blazing speeds. I mean, that happened so fast, I can't even say Shashazbot. Maybe I should try a shorter word like diggery doo, comeuppance, crestfallen. All right, it is not Earth facing because the Solar Dynamics Observatory, I believe, is Earth based. So we are looking at the sun from Earth's perspective. If it was Earth based, it would have shot right at us. But I would say, if you like to be worried about things, then yeah, you can go ahead and worry a little that the sun keeps shooting out giant coronal mass ejections. I mean, that is a lot of matter. That is a boatload of, what was that? Did you see that? That's what's great about editing programs is you can slow stuff down and double check on it, which I will do because it goes by so fast I can't see what it was, but it looks kind of freaky. As you can see here, we've got activity here. Uh, suspicious observers had done a video last morning pointing out how the filament had ripped off the back side of the sun, which the stereo had caught, and the hydro flare left, I don't want to say it open, uh, but it changed the surface quite a bit. <sighs> and if you watch, right after the coronal mass ejection, we get reaction over here. So yeah, so yes, I would definitely say take the weird weather watch up a notch. And the Earth is about right here, so this giant spot, I think, is going to produce less heat. That's pretty amazing, though. I mean, that is a lot of gunky junk. In modern professional science, who's rarely astonished by anything other than a fat paycheck, or Barack Obama, likes to say that comets in the sun do not interact. But the fact that we had a comet swing by the sun, it was officially a sun grazer, and we've had two giant coronal mass ejections, I think are fascinating, to say the least, don't you? Coincidence? I think not. And check out our big boyo magnetic loops. They are looping. They are loopy. And they are huge and messy and active. So their activity is low, said the monkey. And I was like, wow, how did monkeys start talking? Am I on television? Because in theory, or in practice, talking monkeys are weird. Look how nasty and stringy that is. And it's so big, it almost makes me think it's a filament. I mean, it doesn't even look like it comes out of the sun. Maybe it was the second half of that giant 300 million kilometer mile filament. We shall see. Wow. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to compare that to visually. That is incredible. Now, the Lasco and Soho, which usually give us pretty decent images, asterisk, and the asterisk goes behind the decent, they uh, stopped giving us data at 2.24.08. And the CMA happens at about 1028, I believe. So this is the wildest double-peaked minimal solar maximum that was never ending, known to mankind. And I've been covering it every step of the way, ladies and gentlemen, for two and a half years. You ain't got to pat me on the back, but you can. All right, all right, all right. And I will go ahead and say, I don't think it's a coincidence that science virtually ignores celestial physics in regard to the sun and directs all of its attention to carbon-based climate change. You know, in theory, you'd think they were doing that because they didn't want to scare the people, but they're scaring them with climate change, and it's almost like when a giant natural disaster happens, they just point at the disaster and go, see, we told you, climate change. And they're scaring us, they're trying to scare us every day with the ISIS and terrorism and vaccines and Ebola and mutating viruses. So it's like, they don't want to scare us with the sun, but they want to scare us with everything else. That don't make no damn sense, man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what they're trying to do, except... I don't know what they're trying to do, except for stick their dicks in our brain. And I don't appreciate that. Why did I have the sun blot out? What caused a one or two frame solar eclipse? Was it the moon? Oh, man. Blood sun. That sounds bad. Okay. And that's why people love me. I make doom hilarious. Doom becomes a laughing stock. And I know somebody's out there like, I don't think that that's funny. I'm like, I know, dude. But you don't think anything's funny. It's called not having a sense of humor. And how many people have you ever met that were like, you know what? I don't have a sense of humor. Everybody thinks they have a sense of humor. You know, it's like, okay, if you got such a great sense of humor, when was the last time you told a good joke? When was the last time you made people laugh? Anyway, I don't want to bag on those people. I'm just saying. Whoa. 
So the blackout happened right before the tear. That's interesting. Hackers, can you get out of my machine for a second? You're slowing me way down. You're not even letting it work. I'm trying to make a video here. I'm educating my peoples. Whoa. Quite a tear, yes indeed, Derry. I don't know where I'm gonna go when the volcano blows. Volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just had another giant solar eruption, coronal mass ejection, shoot out of the sun, and amazingly light blazing speeds. I mean, that happened so fast, I can't even say Shashazbot. Maybe I should try a shorter word like diggery doo, comeuppance, crestfallen. All right. It is not Earth facing because the Solar Dynamics Observatory, I believe, is Earth based. So we are looking at the sun from Earth's perspective. If it was Earth-based, it would have shot right at us.